Hello everyone and welcome to the Rise of Shadows. The new expansion has just been released uh, as a lot of cards are leaving the standards into the wild. I have been awarded some uh, some dust, uh, 4760 dust to be exact, and uh, I will be, uh, as soon as this uh, refreshes, okay, let's go back, uh, I will be opening some packs. Uh, there we have it, play 25 cards in play mode. Uh, so uh, I haven't been doing any Hearthstone content in a while as uh, w the, the meta really got boring and I, I really didn't uh, enjoy Hearthstone anymore. Uh, but uh, hopefully hopefully the new expansion will uh, bring something more, uh, well, it, it more enjoyable. I see a lot of, a lot of players all, already uh, opening packs and uh, getting some legendaries. Uh, I've seen a Lucent Bark. Uh, something is off. I think... Everyone is opening packs now, and everyone is logging in now, so it's a little bit slower. But I think it should be should be all right. Uh, yeah, everyone got the one legendary, uh, the, the Argoth, uh, the one that drops um, uh, the la one of the spells that you've cast in this turn. It seems like a really powerful card. I've tried it in, in a couple of decks. Uh, I thought uh, first I thought he would be. Uh, doing the the last spell you cast this turn but it's any spell you've cast this turn uh so let's see <clears throat> dr boom's uh, scheme uh better okay so no nothing too important right now but uh, as i don't have any of the uh, rise of shadows cards all of the cards are important uh so we'll just see but as usual when the new expansion is released uh a, a lot of the cards you receive will be duplicates so w w we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah, for some reason, it seems to be slowing, uh, going much slower than usual. A lot of people are online, 41 people. Everyone opening cards. Okay, hopefully it will, it will fa uh, become faster. If it continues like this, I will have to uh, <laughs> stop uh, recording. Yeah, but it, it definitely does seem like uh, it's it's too too much for for the Blizzard servers. We'll see. Maybe maybe I get more legendaries because there's uh, there's such a uh, it's so crowded. Uh, but okay, exotic Mount Seller, Evil Conscriptor, Flight Master, uh, Sun Reaver Spy, and Proud Defender. Uh, if you control a secret game plus one, okay. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, the the Rise of Shadows. I haven't uh, been checking out any decks that uh, will be playable uh, or anything like that. But uh, really hoping that a spiteful priest will make a return. It's uh, <coughs> uh, definitely one of my favorite decks. So we'll see. Okay, that's. Uh, I'll give it a few more. Really, if it <laughs> if it doesn't work, then. Uh, it's a shame, but every time uh, the, uh, an expansion started, I was uh, a, pretty much opening packs as soon as it was released, and it never, uh, never lagged like this. So this is really, really annoying. But on the other hand, it's to be expected, I guess. Uh, busting open card packs. Let's see who's busting open card packs. Okay, not a lot of people, obviously. Okay, our first legendary is uh, Madame La La Lazul or Lazul. Uh, discover a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. Okay, uh, a priest card. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Warden, Life Weaver, Arcane Watcher, uh, Dalaran Crusader. Okay, I think uh, it's uh, becoming faster. The the previous deck really was loaded quickly, and here we go. Uh, immediately golden rare. rare all right let's let's proceed as you're not gonna be using uh, you're not gonna be using all the decks so basically it's uh, how many uh, how many legendaries you can get and uh, then how much how much dust will you be able to uh, to receive through through all of your duplicates to create uh, some of the decks that you want to play uh, at least that's how it is. Burly shovel fist, a nine that, a nine nine that costs nine and has a rush. I don't know. Seems like. Doesn't seem like that. Uh, the, uh, but but what do I know? Maybe maybe in a in a recruit deck it might be might be useful. 
All right, what do we have? An epic, give all dragons in your hand plus three plus three. So, okay, a, a dragon paladin seems to be something that we're looking at uh, in the Rise of Shadows. Let's see, okay. We'll take some getting used to, to all the known cards. Transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more. Uh, and it costs zero. So a bit of a different than the one that costs one and has echo. Alright, more soul of the murloc. Give your minions plus one plus one for a druid. Yes, definitely what a druid needs. Summon one 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 imp upgrades each turn. Upgrades each turn. Uh, what a lovely card. Okay, I think the, the lagging is gone, so now it's working properly. Okay, shimmer fly, rush, mutate. Uh, let's just let's just continue. As I think a lot of them will be duplicates like last time. <clears throat> Again, another soul of the murloc. Uh, we haven't seen anything new. Traveling healer, restore three health. Well, okay, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Two rares and an eccentric scribe. Spend all your mana, destroy a minion with that much attack or less. Okay, that's that's fair. Two epics and a rare. Duel, summon a minion from each player's deck, they fight. Very nice. <laughs> if you're if you're packing huge minions, that makes sense. Uh, un uh, unidentified contract, destroy a minion. Gain uh, gains a bonus effect in your hand. Okay. A rogue, a nice rogue card. <clears throat> and uh, one of the decks that I really started to enjoy lately is Espionage Rogue. So uh, also looking forward to any cards that will uh, make that deck even more fun. Uh, I don't know. So, some people even reach legend with it, but uh, for me it's mostly mostly for fun. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. A nice epic jumbo imp costs one less whenever a friendly demon dies while this is in your hand. Okay, it's fair enough for for maybe for a zoo deck. Uh, you, you drop a nice eight eight that costs zero. I can see that happening. All right, we have a portal over fiend. Shuffle three portals into your deck. When drawn, summon a 2-2 demon with rush. Okay, uh, pretty sure that's gonna be a, a a useful card. It's a demon, but not uh, not a, warlor, a warlock. It's for all classes. Copy all beasts in your hand. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, again experiencing some lag, but nothing, nothing too much. Twin spell, summon a 5-5 virion with rush, unleash the beast. Hmm. 5-5 five five virion with rush that costs 6. Seems a bit, seems a bit expensive. Okay, now be, be a good time to start receiving some legendaries. I don't know, uh, it's, as usual it's like 1 every 30 cards or, or, or something like that. Alright, Magic Carpet. After you play a 1 cost minion, give it plus 1 attack and rush. Okay, and we, another, another twin spell. Golden Common, alright. You know, uh, most people immediately disenchant the golden cards, but uh, I I kind of like them. I disenchant most of them too, but for the decks that I enjoy playing, uh, I'm very happy when I have one. For example, I, I like the golden Zilliax. I have golden Zilliax, really really an enjoyable card. All right, let's go. Nice two rares, Underbelly Angler and another Unleash the Beast. After you play a Murloc, add a random Murloc to your hand. Okay. So maybe an improver to the to the Murloc community. 
A golden rare, Spellward Jeweler. Your hero can be targeted by spells or hero power until your next turn. And a Mysterious Blade for Paladin if you control a secret gain plus one attack. Okay. Uh, probably doesn't mean if you control more secrets, gain more attacks. Okay. Convincing Infiltrator. Destroy a random enemy minion. Uh, nice death rattle. All right. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Draw that many cards. All right. A nice warlock card. Another rare. Underbelly ooze. Uh, after this minion survives damage, summon a copy of it. Okay. Nicely done. Okay, so already 30 down. Now it's time for a legendary. No, it's not. Uh, summon two one two dryads with life steal. Okay, sounds very nice for a druid. I don't actually play the druid. I don't like to play druid. I mean, it's okay. I tried toggle woggle, tog woggle druid, and I tried Maligo's druid. So it, it's it's fine, but just not something I enjoy. Summon a minion from each player's deck. They fight. Uh, this duel. This seems like a very interesting card. Golden common hench clan hogsteed. Summon a 1 1 Murloc. Okay, but it's a beast that summons a 1 1 Murloc, so I guess it's for for everyone. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Mutate and another underbelly angler. Yeah, I think there there will be like maybe 3000 dust after all is said and done. So, and I received uh, like 4000 something. Uh, for for the rotation, so I will probably be able to craft at least a few legendaries if I will be missing for for a few decks. Uh, recurring villain. If this minion has four or more attacks, resummon it. Okay, for all classes. Very nice. Okay, guys. I think I think the next one is ready ready for a nice at least at least one legendary. But uh, out of 130 packs, uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd say it'd be fair to get at least five, I don't know, five seems like a fair number. Uh, but maybe I'll get like two in a single opening, so we'll see. Sl Sludge Slurper, add a lackey to your hand and plus one overload for a shaman, alright. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, where's that golden glow? Not here. Okay, we already had that. Plot twist, shuffle your hand into your deck draw. Okay, we already saw that. Let's see. Alright, let's go golden. Nope, nothing out of the ordinary here. Already seen all of these. Alright, which one is it? It's the Lucent Bark. I, I think everyone gets this one. It's like they want Druid to be powerful, this uh, <laughs> uh, this expansion. Go, uh, taunt, it, ha it has a taunt and death rattle is go dormant. Restore 5 health to awaken this minion. Uh, should be pretty awesome. Hey, Bata says nice. <laughs> I think he wanted to say nice. Uh, but yeah, it is nice. So we have two of them, Lucent Bark and the other guy. Uh, uh, the, the Madame Lasul. And it lags once again. Yeah, haven't uploaded a, a Hearthstone video in 60 frames per second yet, so this is a, this is a new one uh, for the channel. If this ever moves, yes, there it is. Let's see what happens. All right, two of them. Looking forward to an early third one. Uh, Spellward Jeweler. We already had that. Let's go and see what what we get. All right. Mad Summoner, Village Player is bored with 1-1 one, one Imps. Okay, that's nice. If you play, if you're playing against someone that really needs the space on the board, you can really annoy him. Clockwork Goblin, shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck. When drawn, it explodes for five damage. Okay, I'm pretty sure this card already exists, although not for a warrior. This one costs three, three. I think that one that already exists costs like five. Rare, 
twin spell. Okay, so that's like a third or fourth twin spell. Gonna get a lot of dust for that. Golden rare. Destroy a random enemy minion. Alright. Really, really haven't seen the decks they're preparing for Rise of Shadows, but really hoping uh, the, the Spiteful Priest makes a return. Portal Keeper. Okay, we've seen all of these guys. Okay, a nice priest epic. Reduce the attack of an enemy minion by one until your next turn. Upgrades each turn. Okay, probably upgrading it will... Ah, by one. Okay, maybe it will be by two, by three, or maybe by more more turns, but I, I don't think it, it will be by more turns. Oh, epic and two rare. Shadowy figure. Transform into a 2-2 copy of a friendly minion. Death rattle minion for a priest. Okay. Nice. Uh, again, a convincing infiltrator. Okay. Let's see if we can get more golden common. All right. Epic and two rares. Another duel. That's a third duel, so we're gonna get a lot of money for that one. And it's a golden duel. Alright, another epic uh, batter head. Rush. After this attacks and kills a minion, it may attack again. Alright, for all classes. Very nice. Okay, let's see this one. Uh, Arcane Watcher can't attack unless you have spell damage. Okay, a five-six that costs three. That's that's really a lot, but you have to have spell damage. Might go another Clockwork Goblin. Should maybe it will will be a fun warrior. But yeah, that guy should be a uh, a fun with uh, maybe maybe a shaman where you have spell damage when you randomly get a totem, or not. Dreamway Guardian summoned. Okay, we already have that. Okay, we're, ha we're we've burned almost halfway through our our packs and two legendaries so far. Okay, but which is fine. I'm I'm happy if I will be able to craft at least two or three of them uh, to be able to maybe maybe create one. Uh, one one good deck or or two interesting ones doesn't really matter in the end I'll probably still be playing what, what I what I've been playing for for a long time so <laughs> unseen saboteur your opponent casts a random spell from their hand targets chosen randomly yeah this will this is really a a, a wicked card as you know all the all the mecha tunes and and stuff like that will probably be hurt a lot by this. Golden Rare, a nice recurring villain, and another one, Call to Adventure. Draw the lowest cost minion from your deck, give it plus two, plus two, for, for a Paladin, very nice. Uh, never really enjoyed playing the Paladin, but... And it's it's Archvillain Rafam, a taunt minion for a Warlock battle cry says, Replace your hand uh, and the deck with legendary minions. Your hand and the deck with legendary minions. Wow, that's like a really, really creative card. Your hand and the deck with legendary minions. So you can have like, I, I think it's more of a, <laughs> for a troll deck. Like uh, you have uh, all, all of your cards just draw cards until you draw that one. And then you have all the legendary cards. I don't see it as being a very serious deck, but I'm sure you will be able to have a lot of fun with it. But then again, I'm not a very good player, what do I know? Maybe it's... Uh, may maybe it works somehow. Alright, so three legendaries. And... Uh, there was this uh, one card for a warlock, I remember, where... 
you switch your cards to your opponent's class cards and they cost one less. I, I really had a lot of fun with that deck. Another shadowy figure. It wasn't very strong, but it was it was definitely a lot of fun. Okay. But now, of course, Espionage Rogue, where all of your opponent's cards uh, cost one from your opponent's class is, is much, much better. Uh, Tunnel Blaster, all right. Haven't seen someone someone won a nice uh, legendary minion. Okay, a nice epic dragon speaker. Give all dragons in your hand plus three plus three. Okay, that's a second dragon speaker. If we're gonna run a dragon paladin, we're all set. All right, another soul of the murloc, like a fifth one. Okay, three legendaries we we have. Let's see what happens. Okay. Nothing nothing too much. We'll... Mm, Soldier of Fortune, Unsleeping Soul. Let's see, let's see. Another one. A rare Dreamway Guardians, again the one that summons the Dryads with the lifesteal. So we're gonna have to uh, create some dust from that one. Alright, next one. Underbelly Ooze, okay we do have one. Summon a, a, a minion if it survives damage. Alright, ready. We're definitely ready for another golden one. Okay, nothing. And an imp Inferno. Very nice. Give your demons plus one attack, deal one damage to all enemy minions. We already have that. Okay, still going a bit slow. Okay, two rares and an epic. Power of creation. Discover a six cost minion. Summon two copies of it. Okay, that's super strong. I mean, if you if you if you get a good one and two of them could be could be really impressive very nice epic card all right twin spell golden common Ar Ar aranasi brood mother when you draw this restore four health to your hero okay just when you draw this so you don't want to start your game with this definitely hopefully hopefully i'll get a i'll get a golden legendary even uh, a very either a very useful one or one that i can uh, just dust up but yeah with 130 uh, packs i think it would be a, a definitely a fair trade ray of frost all right Okay, your opponent comes to me from the deck. We already saw that. Uh, I don't know what I what I think about the design of of these packs. Kind of like the which would which would ones better, I'd say. But they're not bad. Someone got Golden Verisa Windrunner. Golden Verisa Windrunner. Hope I get that one as well. As someone got a loosened bark and then I got a loosened bark. Met summoner, yet another one, alright. Okay, 40 more cards, 43. Can we get two legendaries? We said that five would be five would be enough for for 130 packs, but we'll see. Um, what what happens happens. Nope, there's a there's an epic one. Uh, Okay, a Jumbo Imp, yet another one, and someone got a Katrina Muerte. Everyone's getting legendaries except me. Hmm. Okay. Two rares, a Twin Spell and a Conjurer's Calling. Destroy a minion, summon two minions of the same cost to replace it. Alright, okay. Ah, so you either... Okay, if you, if you destroy your opponent's minion, then it's a really big one, and you can summon two of them. Seems like a nice card. 
another one. Summon two minions of the same cost to replace it. Ah, to replace it. Like, if you destroy your opponent's minion, then you summon two of them to replace your opponent's minion. That's... Could be nice if you're getting rid of a taunt minion or something. Okay, two epics. Darkest Tower, destroy all friendly minions. For each one, summon a random minion from your deck. Okay, that's like a really sick Warlock card. Really like a, like a gambler's card. Like it, maybe if you get to destroy all of your little minions and then summon the big ones from your deck, but how do you set that up? I don't know. I'm sure there, there will be a way. When everyone starts chipping in with their ideas, the meta will form very soon. Deal 2 damage to a minion or restore 5 health. Okay. Let's see this one. Alright, the fourth one is here. It's uh, Commander Risa. Your secrets trigger twice for a paladin. Yes, thank you Mr. Banana God. <laughs> uh, your secrets trigger twice. Like, as long as she's alive. That's really, really, really awesome. Like... If you had a secret that revives her, and then someone... How, how would that work? Rare, rare, rare. Yeah, it would try to revive her twice. Or maybe... Hmm. <laughs> really weird. Two epics. A portal over fiend, we already had that, and a waggle pick. Return a friendly... Return a random friendly minion to your hand. It costs two less for a death rattle. Okay, very nice. So if like you had a, uh, if if you had that prince that gives plus one to all of your cards, and then you set it up, you can drop that one, then call it back, and then you can just drop it again. But I'm sure there are far better applications to it than this one. Okay, a few more to go. Uh, well, a few more, thirty more. But let's see. Seems like seems like a nice card. Let's see how this one works out. Okay, a nice traveling healer, another underbelly fence. Hmm. Okay, we need one more. 30 car 30 packs for one more uh, legendary and we're we're all set. No, I'm, no, I'm getting I'm a bit greedy now. I I guess you know, I wouldn't mind even two of them now. Okay, Golden Common, Evil Genius, and a Vendetta. Okay, let's see how this one goes out. Just a nice spell word, Jeweler. It's like the tenth one we got. But yeah, I guess it wouldn't be fair if you got all the cards. Uh, Witch's Brew, Restore 4 Health, Repeatable this turn. Okay repeatable this turn like once i guess if it was repeatable more times it would be an echo card so i guess it's repeatable once another twin spell okay i'm i'm definitely sure there's gonna be another legendary but uh, still hoping for two of them uh, when i was opening the witchwood uh, ex uh, expansion. Uh, I <laughs> was able to get uh, two two legendaries in in one pack. That was really insane. All right, a nice epic. Another duel. That's the fourth one, I believe. A toggle woggle scheme. Okay, people still still opening packs. We have. Oh no, I, <laughs> I failed to pull it in. Okay. A golden epic, big bad archmage. At the end of your turn, summon a random six cost minion. Yeah, if you're not able to get rid of this one quickly, it's not gonna go well. Another dragon speaker for our uh, dragon paladin. All right, let's see. Okay, we've seen all of that. Sun, Sun Reaver War Mage. If you're holding a spell that costs 5 or more, deal 4 damage when you uh, drop it as a battle cry, okay? It will make, make mages even more powerful.
convincing infiltrator someone got a, another varisa windrunner okay that's the second one i saw uh, that my friends got so uh definitely hoping i get another one all right 15 more a nice epic shadowy figure that's the fourth one we've got All right, a recurring villain. We already had that. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Well, it, it's a golden common. Toggle Woggle Scheme. Choose a minion, shuffle one copy of it into your deck. Upgrades each turn. How will that work with the with the Toggle Woggle? Tog Woggle. I always call it the Toggle Woggle. Forbidden Word. Spend all your mana. Okay, we already had that. Nice, two rares. Okay. Another Varisa Windrunner. Alright, now definitely I want a Varisa Windrunner. An eager underling. Give two random friendly minions plus two plus two. Okay, that's a very nice Warlock card. As if, as if they weren't fast enough. Okay, another epic. Uh, okay, I was so greedy to get two of them. Now I'm, now I'm fearing I might not even get the one. Slurge Slurper. Yep, I don't think there will be a fifth one. Such a shame. Another epic. Magic Carpet, yeah, we had that. Underbelly Angler. Someone got another Togwoggle, a golden, a legendary one. Unseen Saboteur, okay, we've had that. Okay, still hoping for it, even though just four of them left. Swamp Queen Hagata. What's a Swamp Queen Hagata? A, a different Hagata. Okay, three more. Still hoping to get the fifth one. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be too sad if I don't get it, as I do have a lot of dust. But still, 130 packs should be should be five legendaries. Nope. And the last one, yeah, it's never in the last one. I don't think it will be. Okay, let's go, maybe if I go slower. Nope, is the last card? No, it's not. Well, all right, four of them, not all that bad. Uh, let's just see how, how we did with the dust. We do have 5,000 uh, out of the cards that went into the rotation. And here we have, yeah, like a, I, I thought it'd be like that, 370, so that's... Uh, if we disenchant the duplicates, that's 8,060. So we do get five. I will be able to craft five legendaries, so that will make it uh, uh, manageable to play uh, uh, <laughs> the new expansion with some of the new decks, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I really do hope that this expansion will be a lot more fun than the previous one, and I, I really hated, hated uh, uh, the, the, the odd cards and the even cards, so really glad those are gone uh but yeah uh that's the video i do hope you enjoyed it uh we didn't get five legendaries but four or four is okay i guess and uh yeah hopefully i will be able to to, to do some hearthstone content now that uh, uh the meta still hasn't formed and you know games will be much more fun and enjoyable uh thank you all uh, thank you all for watching and i will see you soon with hopefully some, some more interesting content see you soon